All right. How about an experiment with a three-phase motor? <clears throat> Let me get the power turned on first. That's kind of important. up all the slack I can. Yeah, <clears throat> I suppose I'll uh, say just for the record, none of this is the way to do it. In fact, if anything, this is a way, this is the way not to do electrical wiring ever. Not even for an experiment. But <clears throat> I'm going to experiment. Yeah. <clears throat> Hopefully I can still probe these, probe into these um, wire nuts so I can get some voltage readings. Damn it. The other question is, can I spin this thing up to speed and get to the breaker fast enough? Thank <laughs> you. 
bring you guys around here a little bit closer. Take some measurements. Not bad at all. That's 20 amps. Two hundred and fourteen volts. I'd say that's fairly respectable. I don't know how many amps it can put out on the manufactured leg without uh, capacitors and whatnot, but that'll be for the next video. I need to uh, wire this up a little bit better. I need to wire it up a little bit better so that I can uh, come up with a way to connect that and see if it will have enough starting torque without capacitors to run it. Now, I did bring some run capacitors so, I may do some experimenting with that also, but I think you guys can kind of get an idea where I'm going with this. That two horsepower motor isn't terribly bigger physically than that one horsepower motor, so if I can phase convert this thing and get... Now, if nothing else, cobble this two-speed switch into a reversing switch. If not, I will uh, take the reversing switch off of that temporarily. So, let's see here. Eighteen point eight amps, full load on this five-horsepower motor. And it's only pulling just a fuzz over, well, 20 and a half amps, so that's not a bad starting point. Anyways, I'm going to stop the video here and I'm going to do some more tinkering with it. And I might bring you back l later today when I've got the ability to start this one. <laughs>